Good evening. I'm Sergeant Josh Cater with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit. Just before 5 o'clock this afternoon, officers responded to a person shot in the 7200 block of Arlington Expressway. When they arrived on scene, they located an adult black male in his mid-20s suffering from at least one gunshot wound in the parking lot. Jacksonville Fire and Rescue was requested, responded, and pronounced the individual deceased on scene. During Patrol's preliminary investigation, they learned that the suspect, a Hispanic female in her mid-20s, was still on scene. She was currently detained and will be currently being transported down to the police memorial building for an interview. At this time, due to this being a death investigation, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit, Crime Scene Unit, and our partners with the State Attorney's Office are currently on scene conducting this investigation. Uh, what we have to this point is some sort of domestic altercation occurred inside a residence. During that altercation, the female shot the male victim, uh, ultimately killing him. At this time, we uh, are trying to determine the motive, and we'll learn that uh, once we transport her down to the police memorial building. At this time, it is unknown what charges, if any, that will be brought against her. Um, we are asking, as always, the community, if you have any additional information that could aid us in this, to please come forward by contacting JSO's non-emergency number, 904-630-0500. Or, if, as always, if you wish to remain anonymous, you can go through Crime Stoppers at 1-866-845-TIPS. With that, I'll take a couple questions. Uh, there was one child of uh, tender years. Um, we're unable to speak to that child of, due to the fact of his age. Uh, uh, I'm unknown at this time. Uh, there was a couple of additional witnesses outside, um, but like I said, they did not, were not inside the house to observe anything that occurred. Do you know what else got hurt during this altercation? No, ma'am, including the child. There was no injuries to the child. And what is going to happen to that child now? Uh, right now, the child is with a family member that is currently in Jacksonville. Uh, that is unknown at this time. Has there been a history of domestic issues at this creek? I know it's going to Like I said, it's still early for us. That'll be something that we will uh, look into once we get downtown and start talking to her and try to figure out what the motive was. Do we have an idea on the weapon? It is a handgun. Is that it? All right, y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you.